not vlogged for a few days now. Quite a bit going on, making some other videos. Really exciting stuff. Can't really talk about it too much, but yeah, really exciting. Haven't had enough time to do this, which is a real shame because I've been really enjoying it. Want to say thank you again to everyone for watching so far. And hopefully today will be a better day and we'll get something put out for you. But let's see what the day brings. And work early. I promised I'd do something for someone early this morning. So in order to make sure I've got it done, I've come in early. But on the way in, I saw something that I've never seen before, which I really wish I had a camera. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like. Basically, what it was is bright blue sky and the moon was up. So you could see the outline of the moon in white as a half moon. So it kind of looked like the Death Star from Star Wars in the sky. And then beside it to the right was... A beautiful rainbow and it, it just looked amazing and it just makes you realize how awesome nature is and how wonderful being outside and doing things is. Hi there, had a, a lot of good ideas to start with on what I could film and how to try and put some things together and I've still got some ideas on what I could do and how I can make these a little bit more interesting when I'm not talking um, which is probably the most interesting part of the vlog completely the bit where I am not talking today has been a really good day very productive again really been like doing this has made me so much happier and so much more content and a much more positive outlook on on what's going on it's been good it's sort of something I really didn't expect to get from it but it's been exactly what I hoped so um just by doing something that pushes me out of my comfort zone made me feel a little bit vulnerable and um, I've got some really good feedback from it. But what's been really interesting is people haven't really been asking me why I've been doing it, they've just been asking me when am I going to put the next one together. It's also been nice to hear some of the people at work who I didn't think would watch this asking me questions about stuff that's going on. Keep smiling Dave, now you've got your tooth fixed, that's not so difficult for you. And seeing if any of the things like selling the guitar has happened, uh, which is sort of in progress maybe, who knows what's going on with that. Um, maybe I won't sell it. I had some, a guy at work, he's a musician who, I don't tell him, but he's quite a good musician and I, I actually listened to him quite a bit, although he probably would tell you otherwise. He told me he, he always regret, regrets selling gear like this, so um, made me think actually I'm not gonna pursue selling it or if someone's interested, I'm not gonna like, chase after them to buy it if they really want it and they they really do and they really deserve it, then they'll come to me and talk to me enough about it to make me feel like they're worthy of owning it and that they're going to look after it and give it a good home and I think he's probably right. I've actually been playing it a little bit more which has also meant that I haven't had time to do this which has been quite a good good outcome from doing this again. Obviously over the weekend we saw the, the death of Chuck Berry and one of the first songs I ever learned was Johnny Be Good. Today is the first day of spring, which is sort of a, it's been a funny day with the weather. We had some fantastic sunshine today at work and also some rain and some wind and it got very cold. But it's always nice when the sun turns up, it sort of re-energizes you and re reminds you that actually not everything is grey and that the year is coming and summer's on its way and soon we'll be able to be outside and the, the clocks will change and the evening becomes playtime rather than coming home and sitting in the dark waiting to go to sleep. I had another comment from a chap at work today, I don't think he's he's um, been watching but for some of you don't know, some of you do, I've, I've changed my diet over Christmas. I've actually um, changed it to become vegetarian and nearly vegan. There's a few things I'm still eating but I'm trying to cut them out slowly. Um, cheese being one of the hardest ones to give up but I managed to give up butter and dairy, apart from cheese obviously, um, eggs where I can. I've actually lost the best part of two stone now and I haven't actually been doing any exercise. The first exercise I did was last week on Monday with Martin when I went out for a cycle ride. The rest of it has literally just been weight that has fallen off me in the last sort of three months from just eating a bit more healthily and thinking about food as how it's going to affect my body and how it's going to make me feel. And I don't feel so out of breath so quickly. I, I feel happier about myself. People are saying to me, oh, you look like you've lost some weight. That's always a, an encouraging sign. But um, it's got to the point now where my trousers are too big and some of my tops are too big. So I'm going to have to go shopping again. And I'm in the kitchen making some vegan chocolate peanut butter balls to eat instead of the rubbish that we normally eat, like biscuits and cake, which um, they're really easy to make. Take about 15 minutes. It's basically dates, oats, peanut butter, chocolate and some chia seeds all mixed up together and then rolled up together, refrigerated till they go hard and you're away. It's a, they're really nice, great to grab and go. And I highly recommend them for making you feel better, sweet treat, 
uh, nice with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. They're awesome. Interesting thoughts and shots coming soon, especially when the light gets here. There's um, some exciting things I'd like to show you guys. If you keep watching, thanks very much for the comments. We'll have some more Giles cam coming up and we'll do a few, few other tricks and pieces just to show you what else I can get up to and what we've been practicing for. One of the most exciting things today going on is Vicky's sister-in-law, sort of my sister-in-law as well. Leanne is opening a stage show on the West End in London tonight. It's called An American in Paris. We're going to see it very soon, very excited to see it. Leanne's been performing in New York for some time now, um, came back over. She actually started off with a opening performance in Paris originally, then performed in New York and in Broadway for about a year. Now she's back in the UK opening tonight at the Dominion Theatre. Leanne, good luck. We're all rooting for you. You're going to do amazingly well. We can't wait to come up and see you soon and watch the show. Really excited for you. Good luck, Leanne. See you next Leanne. Yeah, keep watching the vlog. Keep commenting, like and subscribe. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you're up to. <laughs>